What is currently happening programs? Welcome to the Grid VR, where I'll be bringing you this week's news in virtual reality. It's Saturday the 19th of August 2017 and all I can say this week is Behold the future classics. We've got Res Infinite finally hitting the PC with VR support. Killing Floor Incursion splatters onto your recticles. Alt Space Resurrected. Build a Car in VR. Mind Control VR. Free Trials and much more. Today I'm going to cover off the main events to keep you in the loop. So stay locked, crush that like button, Enjoy and welcome to the Grid VR. What is currently happening YouTube? Facepalm here, your friend in Oz and NZ, bringing you reviews, tutorials and game clips, minus the sh**. You can follow me on Twitter, at Facepalm, with a one, not an L. As for here on YouTube, if you like what you find, then like, comment and subscribe. Don't forget to bring your game face. Let's get it done. The eye-mounting, air-sexing, beat-orientated Buzzfest Res Infinite has finally made its way to PC this week, along with VR support and a short-term 20% discount on Steam. Originally on the PS2 and Sega Dreamcast way back when, Res is one of the most critically acclaimed games of all time, and scarce are the negative reviews on this visceral journey to the center of your own inner synapse. The game lets you control a virus in the form of a translucent, light-compiled figure that glides through cyberspace on a quest to save a self-collapsing AI called Eden. Every enemy you shoot down on the way to save the mainframe makes a sound that contributes to the backing music and in effect assimilates you into the song, creating some of the most powerful immersion you can find from a VR game. And while the primary campaign is on rails, you can truly cut the cord in Area X for an all-encompassing type of control over all that is. Res Infinite VR truly feels like the game that has realized its full potential and this classic has done something few if any have done before and that is reinvent the classic as a new classic this could be the killer app for some and if not for you then at least a strong contributor to the justification of a VR price tag so get ready to power up and rave nod your way through colorful barrier bound bosses and tonal vibes that are at times straight from a mid 90s Bushdorf or Big Band Techno Hip Hop Jamboree. And don't let the now outdated, almost retro graphics fool you. If you haven't tried Res, then get it and understand how essential this game has the potential to be for you. Tripwire Interactive has bought us a single player campaign and co-op made for VR action sci-fi horror epic Killing Floor Incursion. This VR implementation of the Killing Floor franchise has a small puzzle solving aspect built into the full story campaign and while additions like this are welcome, make no mistake, your primary objective is to facially reconstruct Z infected enemies using weapons or stray limbs, while you and your optional allies carve your way through creepy and high-tech environments in an attempt to discover what the semi-legitimate and all-time shady Horzine Corporation is up to. Though, who really gives a fuck because the story is secondary in this escapade as violence and retribution takes center stage. In an interview with Oculus, Tripwire Interactive's president and co-owner John Gibson has basically summed up why VR realizations of traditional games are so powerful when he said, it's like you're only really seeing the enemies for the first time. The sheer horror of seeing a nine foot tall flesh pound is incredible. You really appreciate just how big this guy is in VR. It feels like you're truly inside the Killing Floor universe. Yeah, well, spread the gospel, JG. We want more. On that note, the game is a little short with only four levels and there isn't what I'd call a plethora of weapons available. But the weapon mechanics are mint and if you want some straight up blood soaked carnage for you and up to five of your friends and you don't mind paying a little bit more per hour for the experience, then Killing Floor Incursion is a safe bet and is up now on the Oculus Store for $39.99 US. Ever wanted to build a car piece by piece before you build a car piece by piece or a plane train pc 
anything? Well, an indie dev called Alec Moody has uploaded a video of his prototype VR game that lets you fix cars and prepare them for motorsport. The video shows him clipping together the strut assembly of a car, and while in the real world this would take a lot longer, the possibilities for this type of application simultaneously get my balls tingling and my mind ticking, which can be a dangerous combination at the best of times. Not I'm saying. Seriously though, the potential educational or even recreational applications that apps like this align with are quite literally astonishing and really brighten the future for VR as more than a gaming platform only. I am absolutely blown away by this video and to date it is one of the most impressive VR YouTube videos I have seen and you can check the description below for a link to that video. And briefly, remember Tamagotchis and Nintendogs? Remember how rubbish they were, but how utterly attached you got to something so obviously fake? Well, shit just got real. Real cute. Really, really, really cute. RoVR is a virtual companion game currently on Kickstarter that will allow users to raise a virtual doggy to train and play with just like the real thing. Minus the yelling and scooping up poo wiping pee, buying food, whining, humping shit, etc. Either way, check the description for a link to the Kickstarter and tell your missus and your mates because this one will no doubt make even the manliest men go. Neurable is a brain computer interface. What the fuck is that? that lets you control events in VR using only your mind in place of traditional controls. The device has been shown off at SIGGRAPH 2017 in Los Angeles at the start of August with the Awakening demo, which is a Stranger Things-like experience where you must literally use the power of your mind to escape your cell. This type of tech is some crazy shit, for real, and could be great to give you a real sense of telekinesis, but not so great if you're thinking boner thoughts when the crush next door is in the vicinity. I can't wait to see where this tech goes and if it evolves into brain implants that let you lift shit with your mind, then sign me up. Defense Grid 2 has been the first VR game on the Oculus Store to support free trials. That's right, you can download and play the entire first chapter of the VR release of this highly rated tower defense strategy game for free. So if you've got some time spare, give it a go as you've got nothing to lose. Though if you like strategy games, then this is a low risk investment of your time as the series is quite literally at the top of its game. Dream Sale Games has teased an upcoming actual free roaming mech game called the IOTA Project that will let you pilot a six story mech that can shoot rockets, melee and fire off special abilities while you attempt to defend your city. The videos show the game has an anime style feel to it and if you want to stay up to date with what the devs are doing then check the description below for a link to their Instagram. World famous astrophysicist and all around mind blower Neil deGrasse Tyson and a team have hit their Kickstarter goal to see their stoner friendly and extremely popular Space Odyssey series realized in a VR experience. This will apparently be a playable experience where you get to explore and create new worlds in a quote action packed adventure, though the Kickstarter does make some bold claims and ring some alarm bells, like a seemingly unrealistic short dev time and in-game currency, which may allude to microtransactions. <laughs> The funding goal for the campaign also seems a little on the low side, but it does say on the page that funding has been sourced externally and Kickstarter funds are only used to allow backers to play the game during development. Mmm, okay. Could be shit, could be cool. Either way. Yes, science! Also, Alt Space is not dead. 
Hopefully this time with a little monetization, some focused direction and the development and continuation of an awesome concept, we'll see this app through to the foreseeable future. Welcome back. And finally, a 360 VR trailer for the new It movie has made its way out of the drains and onto YouTube this week, and it's not bad. Rip that shit off YouTube in 8K, face your demons and get your best boardies on because we all and that's this week on the grid vr if you have more you would like to add then hit me up in the comments below and let's discuss and if you like this video then crush that like button hit the xo logo to subscribe if you wanna and i'll see you in the next one peace